Hello. Hi. How is everyone? Let's see. Oh, I didn't turn my lights on. Um. One. And. Two. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, hi everyone! Childish, I'm so sorry. I'm sending hugs. I hope you feel better soon. Hi, I'm doing good. Back's doing good. Thank you guys. How are all of you? Hi, Victoria. I'm so excited for everyone to see the palace system. I'm showing two today that Victoria made. Um... Both in Tartosa, both for the Burnham and Bay Royal family. We have a Tartosa Seaside Palace, and then the main one, which is the Royal Tartosa Palace. This one's the Seaside Palace. Um, let me... Oh my gosh, how is this? Hold on. Eesh. It's better. Okay. I think this is better. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, hi Zoe, Super Happy Dave's Hi Chill Shoot. I'm glad you could chill with us. Hi Mac. I promise I got home from work just in time. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, of course. Hi Lauren. Okay, so I am getting a lot more options by Royals, and I'm so happy because a lot of the time it's like, especially with smaller lots, what I've noticed when I was looking on the gallery is that like they're just. They weren't super extravagant places, so even if the royals were, like, not the heir and they were getting a noble title, I still imagine that they would live in, like, an extremely nice place, like, just smaller palaces. So now we have that. Molly Grace is probably going to end up living in one of these, um, so we'll, we'll see. Check and pull, thank you. They're keep- yes, they're keeping both. All of these belong to them. They are, well, all royal families, I imagine, do have multiple palaces. I just hadn't had the palaces to show them. <laughs> but now we do! Yay! Um, let me see. How do we pull this up here? Okay, cool. Awesome. So, about the D&D session. Okay, we'll do Lauren. I hope, I hope it was, oh, it was chaos. Oh my goodness. Like, fun chaos or, like, bad chaos? I will definitely ask about that later. It is so exciting. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I have to get the floor plans that Victoria sent me. So I can actually tell you guys what room is what. Um... This one is the floor plan. I think this one's it. From June, right? Okay, hold on. Sorry. One sec. Um, also, second part of the Gender Bent Royals video should be out tomorrow. I'm really excited for you guys to see. Okay, I think the first one you sent me was the Royal Tartosa Palace. So this one should be the Seaside Palace. Okay. Although I can't see chat when I'm on my phone here, so I, I apologize if I miss anything. I will come back in to check in. Uh, the Palace of the were one of the Portu by one in Portugal and the main one by a Spanish palace, if anyone was wondering. Yes. They're so pretty. They're just like perfect for Tartosa. Um, hi, Lumi! Yay! Um, Princess Molly Grace Duchy Tartosa, founder of the dance school for guys, gals, and non-binary pals, yes. She would love that. Um, I can imagine her being- I'm gonna skip this. I can imagine her being, like, patron of- of- I guess the arts, but, like, dance specifically. We'll- we'll get a title for her. Hi, Queen Panda, how are you? into your royal save hopefully you're able to um and yes these are on victoria's gallery which is in the stream title so it's w-i-k-i-i-a-a -A. all right are we ready all right let's see 
All right, so this is the palace. As you guys can see, it is. I'm I'm scared to change it to. <laughs> to uh, no, I can change it to daytime. This is the main save, so um, I was just like, do I need to do anything? But I think it's fine. Hours. Let's see. Ten. Let's do like. Let's do twelve hours ahead. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. Okay. This is Dartosa Palace. The Seaside Palace. Um, Lumi, thank you for following. Uh, I don't think Frederick would be that into fitness. We're going to say no. Okay. So now we have the first floor. I'll go like aerial view first. And then I can show you guys each of the rooms. So. Here we have. So we have. Oh, whoa. Oh no, the power shut up. Hold on. <laughs> I'm literally about to give a tour. Uh, pay your bills, Johan. Um, Molly Grace won a school prize. Should we give her for the class in front of everyone? She would love that. Um, uh, pay bills. They like just moved in here. Okay. Please hold until we get the power back on. Johan, what are you doing? Oh, he's petting the cat. Oh, is the dog sick? Hold on. <sighs> the fountain in the middle? Yes, me too. I'm doing good. How about you, Queen Panda? Um, I'm also impressed how unfazed you are when reshade messes up. <laughs> I like it secretly does bother me, but I'm like just get past it. Just click what you need to do. <laughs> Can you give a tour in build mode so you don't have to skip time? Um, I just can't do like cinematic view in build mode. That's the only thing. Yeah, this is going lovely. Of course, of course, it's the palace that belongs to Johan. Johan, oh, he wants to kiss his wife. We have to pay your bills first. The power is off. All right, pay your bills. You can kiss your wife later. Uh, wait, did you pay them? Oh, you did. Oh, you did. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, go. Okay, you can go kiss your wife now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he does always pull something. Are right, you finished filling your home? Now pay up. <laughs> Fair. Okay. The piano scared me. All right, so now we have the entrance hall and the main corridor. Is this right, <laughs> Victoria? <laughs> I want to make sure I'm doing the, the one from the middle part, from entrance towards the back. Grand staircase, small hallway, ballroom entrance, grand ballroom. This is the main Tartosa Palace, isn't it? Let me see. Okay, thank you. I was like, that's, does it, that's not what I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. Uh, are these both for the Royal Tartosa Palace? They might be. Sorry, guys. One sec. You know what would be easier? If I go to photos. All right, I found it. Yay! Okay, my Twitch chat did go away, though. Okay. All right, so, next. There we go. We have... All right, so this is the entrance, and then we have a guest dining room. There we go. For some reason my mouse didn't want to work. This is the guest dining room. And then we oh no, no wait. No, sorry, this is the guest dining room. <laughs> and this is the family dining room. Is this from left to right? It is from left to right. Sorry, Victoria. I know the other one was like in the middle, so I was like trying to come off of that. Okay, so this one's the guest dining room. And I'll do like zoom in shots as soon as we go over the aerial view this is the family dining room and then we have the kitchen and then this is the drawing room also you guys will see a lot of like 
pastel colors because it's very much the style that of the palaces that Victoria built from. Um, and then we have the main staircase and the royal office. And then we have the grand ballroom slash concert hall, which is so cool. I love how you put the piano in the center here. So guests can like mingle and dance like around the piano, which is super cool. All right, and then the second floor. So we have the, let's see, left to right. So the main hallway and then the orange suite. This is the orange suite. And then we have the pink suite, which looks very, very perfect for Molly Grace. And then the yellow suite. Um, there are two outside terraces on the first floor that I set up for garden party slash outdoor chill area. Okay. And Victoria also did make... Yeah, okay, there they are. I love these. Um, Victoria also did make a locked for Brindleton Bay garden party slash Tartosa garden party. So it's over there, if you guys can see it. So we'll be having some events there too. I love this because it's like literally right next to the palace as well. Okay. And then in room views, let's see if we can get the camera to work here. It's so pretty. All right, let me pull chat back. Um, sorry, Victoria. No, no, I got him. I should have just looked in like the picture section. Yes, this is the Tartosa Palace for the Burlington Bay Royal Family. One of them. It'd be funny to leave the state. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know there's like those challenges where you like leave your game unpaused for 24 hours or something like that. It is. It is quite bright. Yes. I don't. I don't think my reshade's making it like too much brighter. That's it without reshade. Um. This is by Victoria. Her gallery ID is in the stream title. Yes, this is the dining room slash, I guess, like, banquet hall. Man, the Sims are spoiled. I, yes. <laughs> um, of the Brindleton Bay Royals, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the guest dining room. And then the, oh, I just want to see, like, the terrace out here, too. Of course, it's cloudy right now. I feel like Johan just brings the clouds, because it wasn't that cloudy before. All right. And then here's the family dining room. And then let's go to the next room. Kitchen. Drawing room, which I love. I love this. It's so pretty. I love how you match the colors. This is the main staircase. So it's a, we've got like a little gaming room area too. So we've got a card table. Um, I love this view. This is cool. Oops. There we go. I love that. Yeah, I do too. Kids. You bet that all the kids would get taken away. I have no doubt that at least some of them would, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm waiting Boba. Yes, as Victoria said, the main palace is more within the kingdom's color scheme. Which I don't mind too much if they're different in the palaces. But yeah, for main palaces... I still think you did a great job. It looks, I love that this is like, cause it's like the seaside palace. So it's very like beachy and pastels. Um, pretty right. Um, uh, hi, Shirt Dark Flower. I hope you're having a good day too. It's so bright and charming. Mm -hmm. Jake did get us Boba. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did. Um, uh, okay. So that's the staircase. I just, I don't know why. I always love views like that with the stairs and like balconies and stuff. Um, all right, so let's go to the next room. So this is the office. So if this is Molly Grace's future home, I can see this being her office. Okay, and next. Is this the hallway? <gasps> Long hallway. I love it. It's so cool. 
I don't know why I like long hallways too. They're just so cool. I just like, I just want to run down that hallway in a ball gown. That's all I want when I look at them. Yes, I will, Tira. Don't worry. <laughs> That's the hallway. And then, let's see. Is this her room? Yes, okay. And then this is the ballroom. This is cool. And you know in those movies where the guests will like dance but like in a circle and they're like kind of like dancing in the circle? That's like what I imagined for around the piano. <laughs> it's, it's just a runway. Mm -hmm. Right? Hi, Laura. I am so glad you could make it too. How are you? Long hallways. I want to watch dogs run down it. That too. It gives me summer love vibes. Mm -hmm. For sure. I wasn't sure if that was like... Oh, oh, no, it's so... That was weird. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I don't know. It, I wonder if it's because of the platform in the middle. I'm not sure how to, like... Fix that. <laughs> Will you... Show the front of the palace. Yes, yes. There you go. Why is it so cloudy? Sunny. This is the front. This is the seaside palace. We'll go to the main Tortosa palace in a sec. Um, it's hot in Chicago today, so I can only bed. Yeah, it's pretty hot today. Luckily, it's like dry here, so it's not like humidity making it seem hotter than it is. But yeah, we went on a walk before the uh the stream, and it was just like you could just feel the sun beating down. I was gonna say something, but I thought it was pos. But I thought it was a possible. Set. I honestly didn't question it. I didn't think it was that weird. <laughs> I thought it was like that's for the platform. Yeah, I can fix it later. No, no, you're fine. I honestly, I think it, I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was on purpose. Um, it looks like something from Bridgerton. It does. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is the yellow. The yellow one. Yeah. This is no. This is orange. This is the orange one. This room like, screams Jessica to me. I feel like she would love to stay in this room if she like was going on family vacation with them. This would be like her favorite. Um, this is the bathroom. I love the wallpaper, it's so pretty. Um, this is the pink room. This would be Alice May's favorite. She would love to stay here. And then, you know, I was just talking about last stream where I wanted the teens to go on, like, a vacation. Oh, maybe this could be Jessica's. Um, on, like, a weekend vacation. And I was kind of thinking maybe here. That won't be for a while. It's, it's in this, it's, it's like, it's just for something, like, in the story. But it's not necessarily related to them being on vacation. <laughs> um, it's 107 there! Oh my gosh! What is the temperature here right now? Hold on. I'm curious now. It's 83 degrees today, so it's not that bad. Not 107, oh my gosh. Um, hi Serenity, how are you? Okay, so that, did I miss one of the rooms? Oh, you're in Texas, oh, okay, I see. Yes, 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 that makes sense. Oh my gosh, stay, stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hot. Um, let me see. Was that all the rooms? We've got the bathroom here. And then, oh, oh, I just want to see the staircase from the second floor. Hi, Anya. How are you? How's the drive? Oh, oh, that's a bathroom. Okay. I just, I love this. And the chandeliers are like, it's gorgeous. Also, like, the statues on top and everything, too. It's so pretty. Well, yeah. That's the Tartosa Palace. I love this world. It's gorgeous. And then, yeah, we can see the, um... Where did it go? Oh, yeah. The, the... Uh... The garden party area. <laughs> it's so pretty. You just got back? Yeah. 
Ah, I'm so glad. I totally want to download this. It's so, mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Yes, agreed. Hi, Candy. How are you? So, make banana bread today. Oh, oh, that sounds so good. It's called the, oh, is the neighborhood brought today? I'm going to cancel that. Um, It's the Tartosa Seaside Palace. Yep. Tartosa Seaside Palace. Neighborhood brawl was awful. Okay. Here we go. And the fountain in the front looks so good. I just love, like, the little courtyard area. I can imagine, like, guests pulling up here and, and getting off their carriages. <laughs> um, I've been playing so long. I have to update all my mods. Oh, I feel like that's always so, like, intimidating. If you've been a while, if it's been a while since you have, and you're just like, oh, I have to update everything. Luckily, it's usually the same several that need to be updated. Um, right? Victoria, you did amazing. It's gorgeous. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go see the main palace. I'm gonna change the music. Okay. Um, so, I might need to, like, just evict them and then move them in for managed worlds. So we can do that. I start partway through making a spreadsheet. Oh my gosh, you were so organized with it. No, I'm always like, even if I don't know for sure if it's been updated, I always re-replace MC Command Center, Tool, UI Cheats, and the Woohoo Wellness mod. Is that it? Those are like the main ones that I use. Um, I don't think many has like needed a... Uh, like to be replaced other than that also i didn't download the chart the new tartosa map last time but i showed you guys my other maps so this is the tartosa one if you do the maps command you can get the link to it but i think it's so cool i love the hot air balloon in it like also looks like it's in motion which is super cool okay uh evict and then Also, um, toddlers can be, like, you can ask toddlers to be in the wedding, right, for the pack, because I tried to get Genevieve to ask Priya to be her, like, flower pal, but I didn't see an option for it, so I wasn't sure if she was allowed to. You haven't played in a while, yeah. Hi, Star! Um, the main palace is massive for a 50 by 50 lot. I wish we- I know, me too! I would have loved to have a 64 by 64. I'm assuming we're getting 64 by 64 in the new world, but that's, like, because of the skull. I feel like it'd be weird if they didn't give us a 64 by 64, but then again, it's The Sims, so you never really know. Um, I think sh her- I haven't updated her since- we got the skin tone update, which was a long time ago, so it, she's she's not usually that light. Um, it just, I had CC skin tone on her and now it's gone. <laughs> um, toddlers can't, but children can. Oh! Oh, that's so disappointing! Uh, no, don't skip school. Oh, are you gonna go back to school? Wait, what? No! Hold on. Frederick. Are you in a rebellious phase, Frederick? Really? Maybe the, uh... Maybe the debutant ball was too much. Oh, no, no, wait, that lowered it. Wait. Okay, there you go. I don't think he's, like, 100% responsible, but I feel like he's fairly responsible. Also, do you have those um, wellness treats? Okay, give one. Give one to Celeste. Uh, pet care? Um, nope. Training? Nope. Um, give. Give treat. Okay. No, wait. How do you give this? How do you give this to the dog? Friend. Uh, 
I'll worry about that later. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How are you? Um, I heard there was a mod, but I've never used it. Okay. Um, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm waiting on origin to load. Frederick is in a sneak out with girlfriend mood. That's true. I could see him being like that. Yeah. Pet care. Um... Go on walk, ask to go potty, give... No, it's not on there. I don't... Place in world. Maybe just place one. Sadira, so stop flirting with your husband. Please. If I, if I do... Uh, um, select pets on. Okay. Can I tell Celeste to eat it? Yes! Okay, I, I think we're good. She's eating the treat now, so she should be okay. I don't want to take her all the way to the vet. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, hopefully that works. All right, let me get the floor plan out. Oh, this is, sorry, this is the main chart of the palace. It will... There you go. Okay. Um, when you click on the dog, there's a give. I don't know why it was right there. It was. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, she's feeling better now. Sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> um. All right. So this is the main Tartosa Palace. It is pig. Isn't it pretty? Very beachy. I just. I also love the landscaping around this lot. It's like one of my favorites. I love when they've got like stairs and things leading up to this because I feel like it's better to put a palace there. Because it's like with the main Winterberg Palace, they're like on an island. So there's nothing like leading up to it or anything like that. It kind of just looks like a palace in the middle of the island. It is, yeah. There is a lot more red in the palace, but the palace itself is pink. Um, okay, so the main turn is All right, middle part from entrance towards the back. All right, so let's do aerial view first. It's huge, it's big. Oh, there's a plane going over, hold on. Look at this! It's gorgeous! Yay, Lauren! I'm so happy for you! Too much exterior. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. They are very bougie, yes. It's stunning. Okay, so... Starting from the entrance. So this is the entrance hall. I love it. It's so pretty. The entrance hall and then the main corridor. So we have our grand staircase here. And then we have small hallway slash ballroom entrance. I feel like I should get my mouse. All right, slash ballroom entrance. And then the grand ballroom. So pretty. That's the ballroom. And then on the left side. I love this room. It's gorgeous. Um, so small hallway leading to the guest sitting room. So this is the green guest sitting room. I love the colors. It's so pretty. And then we have the guest banquet slash dining room. I'll go. I'll go in cinematic view as soon as we see all of it. Um, and then we have the staircase and the guest bathroom. And then on the right side. We have, oh, the terrace is so pretty. Um, so it's the hallway leading into there. And then we have the monarch's office slash private meeting room. I would imagine this is where the king would meet with the mayor slash governor of the seaside city or his advisor. So this is Johan's office. And then we have the pink sitting room. Here. And then the family dining room is here. Oh, that, that. Uh, the blah, blah, blah. the piano looks so good. The one that came with the pack. It looks so good in here. And then we have the bathroom. Okay. 
Reminds me of the palace from the Barbie movies. I could see a posture check. Thank you. Um, Molly Grace needs to show off her dance moves in the grandpa room. There's a place for her to dance, actually. I'll show you guys when we get there. Um, I can already see the counters disappeared. In the guest bath? Did they? Were th Wait, these counters, Victoria? Or no, the different ones. Oh, those! Wait, that's so weird! Hold on, let me let me fix that right now. It's so weird because, like, the other side has them, and then this one doesn't. Uh... I don't know how you circled them off like that. How do you round the corners? I don't know if I'm the person to do this. <laughs> um... Step out for a bit, right? Um, this is another palace, yes. The wedding pack still glitched. Um, we're gonna have Genevieve and John's wedding in the next episode, so I guess we'll find out. I <laughs> uh, clicked on the colors, then the gears. Oh my gosh, what? I did not know this existed. Okay, um, how does it look again? that and then um that and then i had literally no idea this was a thing <laughs> yay it's fixed i guess we'll find out we can go see if when we go into the cinematic room i did a wedding the other day and it worked okay okay good to know I've heard that, like, most of the glitches were fixed, but not all of them. Uh, oh, whoops. I just put a random counter down. Okay. Let me save. And then we can go and see the second floor. All right, second floor. After this is done saving... Okay. So we're starting, I believe, from the center again. Yeah, middle part, front to back. Okay. Here we have the grand library, which I love. This is so pretty. That's gorgeous. Um, so the grand library, the grand hallway overlooking the staircase on the first floor. Um, and I can imagine little Molly Grace and Frederick, like, looking over, like, and peeking over the balcony, too. It's so cute. Um, and then staircase to the third floor is in here. I love the double doors. I like this little room here. Um, and then left side, front to back, is art room. For example, the royal kids, to practice their skills, can also be used as a private concert room if more chairs are added. So that's the art room. And then the pink sitting room. So pretty. And then the office can be Crown Royal's office or the Queen's. I think for now it'll be Sidera's. And then Frederick can get his own office when he's actually working more. Um, and then the bathroom. Which it looks like all the cabins are there, luckily. Um, all right. And then the right side. So we have the playroom where I imagine the family spends their evening playing cards. That's what Victoria said. There's the playroom, and then the pink sitting room. I love- I always have loved, like, like, pink and yellow, you would think, doesn't go together, but when it's, like, very pastel like this, I love it so much. I think it goes great together. Um, and then office made for- oh, whoops. Alright, office made for no one in particular. Oh, you know what? The, I could see this one being Frederick's. That's cool. And then the bathroom. Um, I know, right? I love that library. It is stunning. This is the Tartosa Palace for the Brindleton Bay family. It is a new Brindleton Bay Palace. It is not the new Brindleton Bay Palace. We're not replacing anything. Um, I think the chairs is Really? Oh my god. <laughs> um... They did. Hold on. 
I do not know why that keeps happening. For some reason, these chairs, they like, even if you have them, they don't appear in the game. You have to place them anyway. And it's like specifically those chairs. Some of the carpets does it too. After putting pink and yellow together in a Tulani Pass, I was like, wait, this works? Mm -hmm. I feel like Sadir is the type of person to adore the beach and therefore using any chest to take your kids. I can see that. Yeah. There's a missing table in one of the rooms. The flowers are floating. Which room? The flowers are floating. The flowers are floating. It's the gallery thing. Stuff is always vanishing. Yeah. Uh, do you recall which room by chance? Uh... Was it? Oh, I found it. I found it. That's so weird. <laughs> it's just like one table. Okay. And then the vase. There we go. All right. <sighs> That's so odd. All right, saved. Did I just save it? Save. The gallery is so interesting. It is. It's very odd. I don't know why it does these things. All right, I'm going to switch to standing. We can see the third floor. We can see the other rooms. Honestly, maybe this one. Well, I haven't decided yet. For whenever the teens do their weekend trip. I'm not sure which one they would stay in. I just thought like the seaside one because it was like by the sea. That seems like very vacation-y. <laughs> So we're impressed by everything, right? It'd be so awkward if the guests over and they saw the vase of flowers just floating. Sorry, it's just a Johan doing. They're like trying to figure out how it's floating if it's like suspended by some wires or something, like invisible wires. All right. And then this is the third floor. And... Okay, as you enter from the staircase back of the palace, there are two bedrooms. So the back of the palace. So this is the staircase. And then the two bedrooms, one on the right and one on the left, they are made as guest rooms or additional rooms in case there are more kids in the family. Both rooms have their own small entrance and bathroom. I love these bedrooms. The beds, because, like, this is part of Strange Storyteller Sims, like, newer pack, right? I think it's uh, oh, so ele oh So Elegant? Let me check. Um, but like, I haven't really seen these. Oh, so antique. That's what it's called by strange storyteller Sims. Um, and I haven't seen a lot of them and I love like, I love the pillows and everything too. I'm going to have to use some of these for the other palaces as well. Um, so that's one of the bedrooms. And then we've got the other bedroom over here, which is so red and pretty. I love it. That's the other one. And then as you leave the hallway where the staircase is, you enter another small hallway. This is the entrance to the family quarters. From there, if you turn right, you will find a family room, the one with the pink walls. Okay, okay. So there's a hallway. That's the hallway. And then another small hallway. So this is the family quarters. If you turn right, you will find the family room, the one with the pink walls, here, and then pink walls. Further to the right, the adjoining room is the fit of the family room. Oh wait, oh wait, turning right from that side. Wait, I've made an error. Oh this, okay, I went too far. Okay, so this is the hallway. So this is the hallway from where you enter, and then this is the smaller hallway. And then if you take a right, this is the family quarters and the family room and then this is the nursery it's so pretty um and then uh, back to the family quarters entrance if you turn left you'll enter molly grace's room so this whole thing is her room this is her sitting room this is her bedroom i love it this is perfect for her this is the room with the red carpets and white slash blue walls 
It consists of three rooms, Molly Grace's sitting room, which has its own private library, and two fireplaces. From there, on the left is the bedroom. It has its own vanity, two fireplaces, and a private breakfast area, which Molly Grace can use if she ever doesn't feel like socializing with her family. <laughs> there's also a... Um, there's also a bathroom adjoining the bedroom, which is right here. I love that little detail. I right, the bed is so pretty! Uh, it does look like such a soft bed, I just want to jump at it. Also, I love how much she could fit in. Mm hmm right? I'm like, yeah, sorry, Victoria. <laughs> Mirror missing in the family room next to the nursery. I hate this guy. In the nursery, in the family room next to the nursery. I, and I miss, it was a curtain missing too. It's so weird. It just decides. It's like, no, this curtain specifically, or this mirror specifically, no, you're not allowed in this build. Okay. Save. Okay. And then... Back to the family quarters entrance. If you go straight, you'll enter a corridor where you can access two bedrooms. The rooms to the left were made for Frederick. He has his own sitting room. Okay. Let me, let me wait till we get there. Um, so the room... From where you can access two bedrooms, the rooms on the left were made for Frederick. Wait, is it my left or your- or the- this one? No, wait. When you're, like, walking, right? This left? So two rooms underground. Rooms on the right are stairs. Layout is different, so the only difference is the color scheme. Okay. Um, I love how the layout is nice and simple. Square palaces are so pretty and convenient. They are, yes. Hi, Justin, how are you? Um, the one with the blue bed is Frederick. Okay, thank you. Alright, so this is Frederick's side. So, the, uh, it has its own sitting room, bedroom. Oh, you're right. You did say the one with the blue bed. I'm sorry. And bathroom. The rooms on the right are Sidira and Johan. So, layout is the same as Frederick's. The only difference is the color scheme. So, this one's Frederick's. Sitting room. Perfect. And then, this is Sidira and Johan's. The red. Perfect for them. Yes. Okay. There's also rooms underground. This includes the kitchen, two staff and suite bedrooms, Molly Grace's dance studio, which has its own adjoining bathroom, change of room, and sauna. Okay, so this is the whole third floor. Um, oh, whoops. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the basement. So. All right, so as I just said, this one is the Molly Grace's dance studio, which I love. I also wasn't sure about the mirrors on the wall, Victoria, and like how they went with the door. I knew you said they were here, and I wasn't sure about the other side, so it probably looks a little funky. Um, hydrate, thank you. This is on Victoria's gallery. Her gallery ID is, I realize this is like really high up. Her gallery ID is in the stream title. Um, are the plants in the way of or sitting down in some of the sitting rooms. They can scoot by. They're fine. They've got it. All right, so this is the dance studio, and then there is the kitchen here, and then these are suites for the staff, and then we have the sauna, which I love. I remember, like, Put when we got the spa day pack um, for The Sims, I remember putting the spa in the Winterberg Palace, the like old Winterberg Palace, and like having them use that thing all the time. I don't know why I thought it was like so much fun. <laughs> I really love that pack. Um, doing mess, applying my tummy with bread and strawberries. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Justin. Um, oh, this one is Royal Family Sisters for now. Sorry. The other one. Yes. Do you see the trophy wall? Is it? Wait. Is it this? No, those aren't trophies. Wait, is it? 
No. Okay, those are like pill bottles. I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, where's the trophy wall? Um, the tapestry with the royal colors. Yes, it looks right in here. Uh, oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Oh, I love. That's so cool. Um, sweet Maddie, thank you for following. Welcome. Hi, how are you? That's so cool. I totally missed that. No, I love that little detail. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it. It's the spa for the royals in this step. Mm hmm. It's perfect. I remember specifically, like, when Amira and Johan were in an, like, when they were betrothed to each other as, like, what, teenagers? And they weren't getting along. But I feel like I vaguely remember Amira, like, making Johan massage her hands. <laughs> or something like that. I, that's, like, ingrained in my memory. I don't know why. I think I thought it was kind of weird. Um, because they, like, didn't get along. So I was like, wait, what? Yes, they are. Victoria does such a great job. Great, the shelves just... Oh, no! What, from the... Oh, I, I see it, I see it. I got it. Is that the same one? That is the same one. Okay, cool. We're, we're good. Save. That sounds like a mirror, right? <laughs> it's the little things that make it great, yeah. You remember that? <laughs> okay, so I'm not just imagining it. I was like, I swear this happened. I vaguely remember it happening. But I think that's also when, like, May had a crush on Johan. So, like, May and Johan were talking too. And I, I feel like that's when May got, like, a little jealous. I think. If I recall. It was something along those lines. You think you remember that too? <laughs> I'm glad you guys remember it. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to go in cinematic view and, and see all the rooms. I'm just going to get some more water and um, use the restroom really quickly. So just give me a few minutes. But when we come back, we'll get to see like cinematic view of all the rooms. All right. Be right back. Okay. We are back. Tina Mira was next level unhinged energy. I love her. Editor. Yes. Yes, she was. She was. She did a lot of things. <laughs> um, a mirror massage my hand, peasant. Yeah, that sounds like something she would say. Hi, Celine. How are you? Okay. The outside is pink. Yeah, very beachy. I love, I love it so much. I love the pastels. Okay, so we're gonna see the the main rooms. From, oh, whoops. Ah! From the entrance. Hello, Johan Sadir. Did you pee on the... Oh, it's fine. It's outside. Okay. Here we go. Is we shit on? It is on. Okay. So this is the entrance. I just... there. I don't know why, like... Having all the doors and archway makes things so, like, extra elegant and bougie. I love it. I watched the series backwards for a while since I only started becoming a fan, I think, two or three years ago. I lived for the drama in Tina Mirror's life, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had people who, like, started on season two and then went back to season one, and they were like, I didn't know Amira was like that at all. Like, she's so, like, regal now. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. She was... She kind of just did whatever. She was wild. I'm doing good, thank you. Pink beautiful, mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh oh. Going slow a bit. It's not lagging, is it? The hallways. And then this is the grand staircase. Which I love. We can see it like from the second floor too. Hi, Ship. How are you? Avira's your all-time fave. I love her. Okay, let's go back down. I don't know why they why the camera's doing that. Why it's disappearing. Um, another little corridor area. And then back here is the ballroom. So it looks like the ceiling is fine for this one. That's interesting. 
I don't know why you did that for just the other one. But this is the ballroom. We can have events here. Maybe the next time that Brindleton Bay Royal Family hosts a debutante ball, it can be at the Tartosa Palace. It's our last one. Our, our crazy infamous one was at the main palace. Yeah, I have- I don't think, like... I'm debating if I want them to know that they dated already, because I had just something in mind, which isn't significant at all. It was just a little quick thing, but, like, of them finding out that they dated, or at least, like, one of them knowing or something like that. Um, I'm debating if I want to save it or if I think they would already know. I doubt they know. I doubt Amir- or, not Amir, I doubt Alice May knows what kind of stuff her mother did. I don't think she has a clue, honestly. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. Must it be so weird for Alice May and Molly Grace that Johan and Amira was in an arranged marriage? Maybe. I mean, they probably know that they, like, didn't like each other. Like, they didn't like each other at all. They didn't get along. That was interesting. Um, Brindleton Bay. Turned us as part of Brindleton Bay. Um... This is the ballroom. I also want to see the terrace. Wow. It's so pretty. The wedding pack just worked so perfectly for, I mean, obviously it's made for this, but it works so perfectly for this. I love the flowers on the chair. It's so pretty. They could host like a little breakfast here. <gasps> oh, they could host like future like baby showers or, or like future bridal shower or something like that here. That would be so cute. That would be so fun. It's perfect for it. Okay, let me see the other rooms. Garden party vibes on the balcony. That too, yes. So gorgeous, right? Okay, what's in the next room? I think this is the bathroom. Yeah, that's the bathroom. This is the entrance, the staircase to the basement. Bridal and baby shower, yes. I would love for Aim and Jessica to find out about Mira Mackay. My shipper heart would feel so full. Okay, I'll I'll try to squeeze it into something. Oh, this is the this is the banquet hall slash the guest dining room. It's so pretty, Victoria. I keep thinking my reshade's not on because it's like very subtle, so it doesn't make the stream lag too much. But it is on. This is gorgeous. I love this. All the pink. I'm about to add this palace right away. Yes. Um, so Victoria did say this one is not uploaded, only the Seaside Palace is uploaded, but that one too, like, it has the same vibes also for the, um, I guess it's a bit more beachy, but like the banquet hall and everything too. It's so pretty, I love it. It's crazy how Amira loved Makai once and was almost forced to marry Johan once. Kona is the brother of Makai, Kellen is the brother of Amira, and now their kids are all friends, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, well, they're not friends anymore, but I was just thinking about Kaleo, too. Leilana was never really involved with them. Le Le Leilana and Naya kind of, like, stuck together. I always imagine, I think I told you guys this, but I always imagine when they were teenagers and, like, a bit younger, Naya didn't like Amira, so I would imagine that Leilana probably didn't have the best- No, 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 wait, no, no, no. I think by then is when- like, Amira started to, like, calm down a bit. Um, but then that's when she met Makai. But Leilana did like Amira because she was dating her her cousin Makai, who was, like, her brother. So, never mind. Only Naya didn't like Amira. <laughs> now she likes her. Um, the seaside, yes, yeah. I love it, Victoria. My sister got cold on the Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Not be I'm so glad. I think it shows how sometimes old relationships can become good friends. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I, I feel like Naya just didn't like Amira because of, like... She... I feel like she probably knew that Belle had a crush on Francisco. So Belle's Amira's cousin. Francisco's Naya's brother. And... It, Amira hooked up with him anyway? <laughs> 
Um, so I feel like that probably also has something to do with it. Also, this room, I love. I think there's enough room for, like, the Sims to be able to sit down here. I I mean, like, yes, in real life, you might get hit by the plant, but, like, I, I think, like, gameplay-wise, it should work fine. Um, no, I, you know, I, I think it was the brother thing. Um... I will, yeah, I wouldn't say immature. Messy Amira was so iconic, yeah. I, I think it was, like, it was probably, like, a why would you do that to your cousin sort of thing, like, um, she probably didn't like the way she acted all that much either. But then again, because, like, Nea was the first, uh, female heir to be announced, and, like, that happened after Amira was born, like, of a couple years after. So, Amira being, like, kind of resentful that she wasn't heir. And I'm sure, like, some of that attitude... Also, the chairs are missing at the chess table. Um, some of that attitude probably, like, she projected onto Nea, too. So, I can't imagine Amira was the nicest to Nea, either. Um, let me see... What, do you know what chairs were there, Victoria? You also said Megan didn't really like Naya. Oh, yeah. No, I just thought it was a sibling thing. I don't think Naya and Megan really got along very well at, like, as, like, growing up. But I feel like they're better now as adults. But I just... I don't know. It's like, not all siblings get along, so... <laughs> uh, I also feel like Naya was kind of bossy. There are chairs missing by the chess table in the green sitting room. Do you know which chair? Was it the, the same ones that were missing from the other one? Let's see, that was in the playroom, right? These? Do you know if they were these, Victoria? They were the chairs, same as library book. Okay, uh, the chairs, yeah. Not all siblings are super close, yeah. Alright, save. And we can look at some of the other rooms. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just never thought. I feel like Nay and Francisco were probably closer than she was to, like, Michael and Megan. But it also seems like since Michael and Megan were twins, they probably, like, were... Not not because they're twins, they have to be closer. But I just felt like they were closer. And then Nay and Francisco were closer. Um, cause Francisco is, like, the one closer to Nay in age. Um, apart from Araminta and Anya, which are the siblings that get along the least in the series? Makana and Kaleo. Uh, I feel like Molly, Grace, and Frederick definitely have their moments. They just, like, happen to have the same friends. Um, and then, um, Elena and Cornelius. Um, Aisha and, um, and Arya. And... Who am I missing? Oh, Han and Akio. <laughs> Um, who am I missing? They were closer, they just happened to also be twins, yes. Hi, Kim! Um, that's me and my oldest sister. When she moved out, our relationship got much better. Yeah, that was me with my mother. <laughs> um, and I know that happens a, a lot. Like, pretty much all of my friends and people I've talked to, if they didn't get along with, like, a sibling or, like, a parent, it got so much better after they moved out. Um... Sometimes those can be too much when they tour around all the time, so it makes sense. Yeah. Amira is a Serena Vander with the Marion. Yeah. Um, my sister and I get along so much better. Now that we're not sharing home. Yeah. I just, I feel like a lot of it has to do with, like, being around each other so much, one, and then, like, especially, not that the royals have had to do with this probably, but, like, especially, like, having to share a bathroom with one of them, but, like, waiting to get out, and just, like, like, stuff like that, but also just being around them all the time, too. Um, let me see, let me put this here. Okay, and then, what were we seeing? We were seeing, the, we still have to see the drawing room, and the office, and then that drawing room. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, I can't wait to see the library zoomed in. Ah! All right, let's see. Now this girl that got along terribly with her sister until they each got their own rooms. Oh, I bet. Yeah. 
No, I, I've, I've heard of siblings having to share a room and just like, I, one of my friends, she has three sisters, she's the second oldest, and then the younger two shared a room, but I remember like going over there and just, you could hear them yelling at each other and arguing all the time. <laughs> Um, this is another one of the rooms. I still don't know why they're like doing that. Uh, then the office in here. I love this office. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I feel like I could get so much work done in this office. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, let's go to the next one. Let me change the song. Kind of lucky for this. I'm really family oriented. Oh, then I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. No, there's definitely like siblings like that too, which I'm, I'm so glad. Um, I just don't usually hear about it very often, but that's amazing. I am so happy for you. <laughs> you see, growing up as the only girl in my house, I always had my own room because, yeah. No, that was my my dad. My dad also has three other siblings, but the oldest was the girl, and then the three younger ones were boys. So all three boys had to share a room, and she got her own room. Um, so yeah, I've definitely heard of that too. Um, the messy love life, yeah. All right, this is another drawing room. Amira still, and it's not even just because she's blonde. It's like she has, she looks like Barbie. I still can't get over it. Okay, I love this room. Oh, you know what? I just realized I was wondering where that wallpaper came from. The wall, this is the wallpaper I just used for the um, breakfast scene with Amira, Jabari, Alice May, and Cedric. It's so pretty. I love it. I shared room with my sisters, but since they are much older, they left quickly. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, I have a friend like that, too, who, like, um, her, both her siblings were, like, way older than her. So they were pretty much, like, out of the house by the time she was, like, six or something like that. It is. It's so pretty, Victoria. I hope that people are getting ideas for their own palaces, too. Um, and then the bathroom. Even the bathroom is just so nice. Like, I feel like when I do bathrooms, I'm just like, okay, sink, toilet, bathtub, one plant. And that's it. <laughs> but this looks so good. I also got lucky. I'm really family-oriented. I would always be close to your brothers and parents. That's good. We'd fight, but never to the point where we hated each other. That's so good. My little sister, who is on episode 15 of- Oh! Saw your post on Instagram with Henry Cor and Anna, and she said they look so old, and I thought all of them are- Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. That makes me so happy, though. I needed to- Share a room with my little brother, and yeah, it was annoying. Wonder why I moved out instantly. When I turned 18, yeah, no, that's absolutely fair. A plant for a pop of color, but only one, yes. <laughs> Just one plant. Um, and then I showed the ballroom. All right, let's go to the second floor. I love seeing the palaces because you bet I'm getting ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Currently working on redecorating a palace for the screen caps I posted in the channel. Was that the ones with the reshade you were trying? They look so good. Did you end up finding a reshade? I like the ones that um, you were using for those pictures. Um, all right, so let's see. This is the... This is a library. I love it. Hold on. It goes back pretty far, right? Also, I love that you actually made the base game flowers look so good in this balance. <laughs> like, since I started using CC, I really haven't used them as much, but they look so good here. This is the library. I feel like Frederick would spend a lot of time here. I'm gonna stand again. I could see him spending a lot of time here. Building a manor for Sulani right now. Awesome! Beauty and the Beast library, yes. Look at all the red books, right? <laughs> I love thinking about it, like, because I do this for the other palaces too. I like, um, have like specific, oh, specific colors for the bookcases. And I was just thinking about it the other day. I'm like, would they get only books in that edition, of, like in that color variant? Or would they get the books and then like dye them red? <laughs> or like dye them pink or dye them blue, whichever. But it just looks so good. I'd camp in this library, right? Frederick and Jessica are going to spend a lot of time here. Re yes, reading. Totally. Hi, Kay. How are you? Um, yeah, the one I really love is Winter Day, and I tweaked it a bit nice. 
Oh, I just wanted to sit for hours in that library, right? It's so pretty. I love it. They're just for show. I bet no one in that family has time to read. They're too busy putting on drama. I feel like if anyone, like Frederick's definitely the one who reads the most. Um, I can't imagine Molly Grace loved to read like all that much. I know they're just for show. I And I honestly, like, I wouldn't love it, like, any other way. Like, I love the colors and the color scheme in the books and everything like this. I'm just like, you know what? It's a made-up world. And they're rich as heck. So if they want all these books in one specific color, they could probably afford it. <laughs> um, I can picture Johan ordering his books to be custom. Yes, exactly. For aesthetic, yes. Royal Advisors, what type of books do you want? Science fiction, romance, mystery. I want the red one. <laughs> I love that so much. I can see, because I was thinking specifically of when I was doing Alice May's room and I made the bookcases like all pinkish sort of books. So I could see Alice May like as a little kid asking like, what kind of books do you want, sweetie? Pink ones! <laughs> Sitting around walking in the library. What are you doing, Johanna Gressel? You're painting the books right <laughs> You know, if anyone were to do that, it would be Johan. Specific royal book binding and hardbound books for their royal house. Mm -hmm. My sister is going to create a royal family on our PS4. That's awesome! Yes! I mean, to be fair, when I first started, I didn't use CC. So I just dressed them up real fancy. They didn't have crowns or anything. <laughs> um, you know, you can have any color you want. <laughs> red ones just red it's all for the aesthetic exactly i don't care what they're about just that they're pink yeah <laughs> little alice may would totally say that is it weird i can see one of the kids hiding their diaries in here oh my gosh molly grace yes just because it's the same color no one will know a diary here only said kids and if any you know what if molly grace were to do that and if anyone were to find it it would be frederick i could see that I've seen booktubers organize book by color oh wow that's crazy. I mean, I'm sure they have enough books, but oh my goodness. I bet that looks so cool. My grandma used to do rebinding and hardbinding the old map. This was so cool to see. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Johan painting all the books red. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Only trying to further their education. Totally not using the room just to make out. Yeah, of course not. What? Definitely not. I feel like, uh, not Johan. Frederick would like spend a lot of time here anyway. Um, where'd the library go? Oh, oh, oh. Um, so initially when he's asking if they can hang out in the library, I don't think they would find it suspicious. Molly Grace maybe, but then yeah, it would, they would be on one of these couches probably. <laughs> just, just reading. All right, what's in this room? This is the playroom. This is where they do family game night. Cards, yes. Sorry, I'm I'm thinking of like when I do that future post of the teens going away for the weekend. They're gonna be hanging out in a room and like doing whatever teens do. Um so I was just thinking about this. But maybe 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 it, it might end up being in one of the drawing rooms. Um, this is a drawing room. Molly Grace, Frederick, you better not be reading my diary. Frederick continues to read. I'm doing my book report on it. <laughs> Frederick would totally do that. These red books, CC, are very realistic. My parents have a lot of books from this edition. Or very similar to it. You can often find them at a garage sale or in a manor or houses and castles can be... <gasps> that is so cool! That sounds amazing! I'll be honest, I don't read a lot of books, but I would... So I just, I love journals, especially like really cool looking old antique ones, even though they're not old and antique, they're just made that way at like Barnes and Noble. But I, I, <laughs> I would be the type to collect pretty aesthetically pleasing books and not read a single one. <laughs> what is, uh, what's an activity each family does to bond? Um, that's a great question. I'll probably have to get back to you. I feel like cards are would be a popular thing. Mahjong is super popular. Um, although technically it counts as gambling, but that'd be super popular for a Guangxi. But there's also like, so I don't know if anyone has seen mm -hmm. Mahjong tiles, but there's also ones that is like a kid's version where you literally just match the tiles. 
<laughs> so that could be for the kids. Um, on the couches are one of the nooks to hide in there. If a servant is nearby or a guest, yes, 100%. Or I'd imagine Johan having dreams about the painting looks red and he's the red queen house. <laughs> I think Zadir would be okay, but the door stays open and Frederick would be like, okay, we're just going to actually looking at the books, yeah. But the little nook area, that's true. No one would see them. If you're thinking about where the teens could hang out in this palace, I made... <gasps> it's the family room on the third floor next to the nursery. Going, 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 going. Third floor in the... It's the family room on the third floor next to the nursery. Nursery, 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 nursery. Nursery family room perfect i this is perfect this would be great for them all right we're gonna have some scenes here in the future this yeah no this is perfect and i think it'll look really pretty in pictures too yay thanks victoria okay let me i i know there's still rooms we have to see what else do we have to see um did I see this drawing room yet? I don't think so. Oh, and then the art room, playroom. We saw that. Okay, okay. All right. I know where we're going. Oh, go faster. Okay. This, I think, is going to be Frederick's future office. Or I guess it could be his current office. Um, we're at the Tartosa Palace, the main one. I feel like Anne would love a huge library and be like, you have all of that and you just don't touch it when she sees it yeah <laughs> just trying to create a library in her apartment she would love to have all these books and they're so pretty um when my aunt was relearning about law she had all this hardbound and only books and it was these chunky hard ones you definitely lose a toe too when you accidentally drop them oh my goodness they're gonna eat the desserts yes Frederick's just chilling. I know you didn't mean to separate it like this, but if Molly Grace was annoyed with Frederick, her just being like, no, you keep your friends on the other side of the room. And <laughs> I get to catch ya. <laughs> um, like, there's no Sears. Oh, he's just watching TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So this is Frederick's, room, Frederick's office. Oh, and then the wedding pack. Bouquets look so pretty in here, too. That looks gorgeous. Um, seats, yes. <laughs> All right, and then the nice bathroom. And then the staircase. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Hold on. Let me, let me, okay. Like, look at the double doors. Look at this. This is so pretty. And you could, like, see down into the grand staircase, too. That's stunning. I love it. For some weird reason, I can't picture AM being a bookworm. No, I don't think she is. I think she likes chilling with games. Or yeah, no, I, I don't. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't think she is either. Also, because she has, like, focus issues, too. I can see her, like, being forced to read a book for, like, schoolwork or something like that. And her just really not being able to and getting so frustrated. Yeah, I think she loves video games a lot. Also, video games are great for people with attention span issues. <laughs> with ADD and ADHD. Um, I love this office. This is Sadira's, and the color coordination is amazing in here. Ma man, the in-game portrait could just be replaced with a portrait of him and Jessica. That's true. Even if we rarely stay at the restrooms, the restrooms, right? The restrooms are gorgeous. She might be okay with book illustrations about games, yeah. I made my families in Tartosa Italian inspired. That's awesome! Look at the flowers, right? The flowers are gorgeous. Like a wedding portrait in Frederick's office. That would be so pretty. It'll be a long way off, but Frederick and Jessica's wedding. I need to start thinking of things for it. I think it'd be in Tartosa. That's all I know so far. All right. Let's see. All right, so this is the other drawing room. And then this is the art room. So it can also be used as like a little concert hall if we put more chairs in here. Frederick constantly would just be like, look at how hot my wife is, yeah. <laughs> All right, so third floor. Um, hold on, I'm gonna need to see. 
All right, so these are the bedrooms. Let's start with... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll start with mm, mm, Molly Grace. No, wait, this is a guest bedroom. All right, we'll start with the guest bedrooms. Ah! All right, there we go. Ooh, I need to use that, like, the makeup and lotion and whatever that is. I need to put that in, in Alice May's, too. That's cool. The one I found was, like, kind of chunky. I love the bedrooms. They're so pretty. Uh, brain just went. He updates the painting with each kid that he has. I see him just being proud of his family. I can 100% see that, too. Frederick would be, like, a super, a super proud family guy. Um... That whole fireplace mantle is just filled with pictures of his kids. Yeah, that would be adorable. Mm. This is the bathroom, the really nice bathroom. This is the staircase. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, bathroom? Oh, sitting area? Okay, then this is one of the other guest rooms. I love it. And then next. Uh... You're fine, Lexi. I think it just caught the cuss word. If, if, if it's not AM, Cedric definitely is. And his guilty pleasure is bad romance novels. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go, no problem, Candy. Yes, definitely. We'll see how much longer we're streaming. But I hope you have a good time. We'll talk to you later if we don't see you. Um, alright, so this is the nursery. I don't know why my bassinets always do that, like, every single one. I'm assuming it's because I have the, um, mod that, like, the babies are separated from the bassinet. That's the only thing I can think of. No, you're fine, Lexi! Um, and his kids are all embarrassed because of the photos, because they aren't, like, nice photos of them either, so they're, they'll just be like, Dad, stop it, yeah. Story time. I feel like Frederick would pick out a ring for Jessica as soon as he hits 18, then once he has it in his hand, he'd be like, wait, I'm so stressed. Will this beautiful, charismatic woman ever say yes to me? Then he messed everything up. They break up, and she goes to travel the world to recover. Then he finds her in a random corner of the world, apologizes, confesses his love, and proposes to accept that they live happily ever. That's so cute! That's adorable. I actually, tomorrow, will be posting really cute pictures of Frederick and Jessica. They're super sweet. Um, so that's a nursery. Frederica future kids room slash nursery um, and then bathroom and then this one is oh wait 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 no 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 pretend you didn't see that okay let's go this way all right so this is the Frederick <laughs> um this is the teen room hangout spot this is the family room where the teens will be hanging out um I love Jessica too we don't <laughs> um What was I going to say? It'll come to me. I was going to say something about them. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, no, it's doing the thing again. I don't know why it does that. Okay. Frederick has the dopiest look on his face right now. Look at him. Hi, Frederick. Oh gosh, I I I I can't get the camera to look at him. <laughs> Frederick and Jessica are so cute. I don't care what it is about them, but I love it. Yes, I did. I tell you guys. I feel like I remember telling you guys this that Jessica wasn't originally made for Frederick. With the amount of beds, you think they'd have a lot of guests, but in reality, it's just a bedroom for one week for one of the family members. Yeah. It would be so cute if Jessica got a small Sulani tattoo. Oh, that would be cute. She, I, she might. I'll have to see what tattoos are available. Hey, get to run as... 
too, as my family and I are going to- Oh yeah, no problem! I hope you have fun! Happy birthday! Um, who was Jessica made for? Jessica was originally made- The creator originally made her for William. Yeah, she was made for William. <laughs> and I just thought her and Frederick worked better. What am I sitting on? I'm sitting on something. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing birthday. But Jessica would have eaten William alive. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Cookie, thank you for following too. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go back. I kind of, I kind of lost the place here. Where are we? Oh, there you are, Frederick. Okay. Excuse me. Is anyone good at camera controls? I feel like they're so hard to do. <laughs> um, this is just one of the corridor areas. And then this is Molly Grace's room. This is her sitting room. She's got all the red books she wants. Even though she probably doesn't read any of them. And then this is her bedroom. Considering William's bad romances, she made the right choice. I agree. Remember you deciding it was kind of weird of her and William to get together since they ended up living together for a while and became more like silly. That's true. She also, like, the I didn't mean for it to be such a big thing, but, like, she didn't, li she didn't like how cold Windenburg was. <laughs> and she would have had to visit there often, so. Um, no, I mean, she goes anyway. I don't know if that really would have mattered all that much, but I remember that, like, me saying that, and it ended up being, like, like people kept bringing it up. Um, so yeah. Seriously, poor William. I love William, I do. Um, I... I had an idea, and I'm debating if I want to ask you guys about it, because I'm debating if I want it to be a surprise, but you guys talking about William made me think of it. Molly Grace's room. Yeah, it's my favorite. I love it. It's so pretty, and it's so her. Is there a date for when the next episode of the series will be on YouTube? I haven't understood. Um, I, I'm actually, I was gonna s not stream very long today, because I think I'm gonna film it today. We'll see. We'll see. I, I gotta, like, go on a walk and, like, make sure my back's okay, but... I really want to film it today, um, so if I do, it'll probably be out in, like, a week, a week and a half. If I don't end up filming it today, it'll be on Tuesday that I'll film it. But yeah, anyway, it, it should be out before, like, the end of July. That's that's what I'm hoping for. It's the next video I'm working on. Um, I just want to make sure I, like, have everything. <laughs> Uh, I feel like William and Jessica have the purest relationship. I agree. Also, Kim, how do you saw this ever, sent me this. <laughs> I need to find it. She sent me this, like, meme that was so William and Frederick and Jessica. It was this guy, like, documenting his life as a third wheel for his friends like this one specific couple and it's like them when they're younger and then like them on their wedding day and like them getting engaged and it's just him taking a selfie with them like kissing in the back and i'm like this has so much william energy all of her red books are probably all coming <laughs> or like books about dance um hi adelaide how are you no one is good at camera control this swims it is it's so hard i put the grandma photo set of flowers in the middle of her bedroom because i think she loves to be surrounded oh yeah for sure she would love music uh but thank you justin tell us about the idea no it's more than i just starve. um no problem lauren take all the time you need got here late so forgive me if i've already asked but is there a little dance room there is there's the dance studio we haven't gotten there yet but i'll show that in cinematic mode too I could see William having a crush on her when they were a kid. Oh, yeah. And it going badly. Will, Jessica, I love you. I'm sorry. I see you as a brother. As a as a step from their own. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, Lord, we love you. It does. It screams William. It's it's very William energy. Um, but I do. I love that because William is Frederick's best friend. And, like, uh, like Jessica and William are so close, too. So I... I can see him being a third wheel a lot for them. Alright, so this one is Frederick's room. 
which is I love for him. This is really cool. Again, I love how you did the color scheme. It's amazing. Do you, I'm curious. Do you like pick a wallpaper or pick a carpet and then like start basing the color scheme off of that? Or do you, or do you like know what you have in mind and you like, you just go for it? <laughs> um, I will definitely share it on my story just so everyone can understand. Yes, yes, Kim, I'll share it. Plot twist, William has spent his last several years attempting to take third wheel selfies while his friends are kissing in the back. <laughs> they are like, Billy, Marshall, and Ted. What was that, Tira? I feel like Jessica picked out his bedding because it's blue. And blue is her one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I also think it'd be funny if just like Frederick's why is it keep doing this? If um Frederick's favorite color is like blue, <laughs> but like he never gets to wear it. <laughs> so he's just like, fine, I just want my bed to be blue, and they're like, okay, fine. They're like, uh, I start with the carpets and then choose a wall to match it, then furniture, gotcha. It looks great. I love it. Uh, the wallpaper matches the carpet perfectly, and everything else looks great too. Also, I love the curtains. It like frames the bed so well. From oh oh gotcha okay. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen how I met your mother, but not a whole lot of it. Um, okay, this is Frederick's sitting room, and then this is his bathroom, and then this is the this is the dear and Johan's room. So this is their sitting room. I want to build a castle for my own wife family, but floor plan stress. Yeah, that's fair. I still have never built a thing. And I feel like if I ever built anything on stream, you guys would get so frustrated with me and it would probably be like pulling hair out. <laughs> or at least that's how I would feel. And then this is their bedroom. I love the bed so much. Usually if the carpet's walls are very vibrant, I'll choose plain white furniture. Yes, like Frederick's room. If I can't find good wallpaper, I'll just choose a plainer one and try to spice it up with furniture. I The way you do it is great. It's like... Like, some of the wallpaper is busy, but it's not too busy because of how you balance it out with the furniture. Um, oh, thank you for the hug! Um, it'd be hilarious if Frederick went through a rebellious phase that solely consists on not ordering the red. I can hear those arguments just like, no, you have to. This is a really important event. No, I'm not wearing red. I hate building bathrooms. The only You built them so well! I made a good one with Adric and Dester in the Salvador Dorada Palace. I'm thinking about Adric and Bubba. <laughs> I base decoration on my Sims taste. That's fair. Colors like their hobbies, outfit style. They like when the bills are screaming. It's this Sims home. That's fair. I just know that like, like Victoria, I think you do such a good job at it, especially because you like know the characters really well. Um, but like do doing their rooms and like basing it off of the specific characters. I just remember, like I know the palaces in real life are like this, or maybe I'm just basing this off of a line from that I read um, from Red, White, and Royal Blue. But I remember them saying specifically, because if you, I don't want to spoil it, but he's like, there, there's a prince and someone goes over to his house, palace, and like they specifically say like their bed, like his bedroom and his sister's bedroom, like nothing about it screams them. Like it's just very like regal furniture i think for them specifically it was like it was all very like white and like beige and all that stuff which i mean it doesn't i i like the colors but um but like and like the only room that really screamed them was like their joint hobby room that they had together but i feel like that would be the case for palaces like i can't imagine them having first of all there's like cleaners there all the time and i can't imagine them having them like have that much stuff in it that would be of like the person who lives there so that's why with alice may's gaming room that i showed in the last episode was it the last episode um i just wanted that room to just scream her and i'm gonna work on cedric cedric isn't his isn't very him yet but at some point i'll i will get there um not on top of it, i just realized you have sims 2 music playing and it made me feel eight years old again yes i love this music uh, my expectations are high now <laughs> On a royal tour of Willow Creek, Johan, I think we should wear blue to the Monarch State Dinner since we are here in Willow Creek. Yes, living my dream, yeah. Pinterest, yes. A bathroom design to save my life. Um, if it was up to me, I'd just toss the toilet in a plain room and say, alright, that's what I do. <laughs> but no, I used a lot of Pinterest for um, 
like the gaming room and all that stuff. And and I do for anything I decorate on my own. But yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I think it makes sense for a palace not to reflect a person in particular since it's supposed to be timeless and inherited. Yes, exactly. Yep. Inhabited by many people. Hmm. So it has like history behind everything. I'm crying right now. I found out someone downloaded my first. And oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. That reminds me, I need to restart my royal starter save. PC broke. We need to play that soon. I We're going to have weddings next in the royal starter save. And I have ideas. Do you, Okay, do you guys... I don't know if it should be like a... Because I think more people can make it on Sunday than they can on like Wednesdays and Fridays. But um, for Wednesday, would you guys like to play royal starter save? Or would you like me... I guess I can't completely promise this because I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work. But if I can get it to work, if we want to play The Sims 3 and make Corn Farm in The Sims 3, and maybe we can like recreate their love story, and we can have horses, and we can have them look for a unicorn. Do you guys have a preference? That reminds me. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I'm recently referencing a lot of base game builds through Pinterest because Kim talks about highly of the method. I love Pinterest. It's amazing. I have so many Pinterest boards. <laughs> Um, imagine living in a palace, you walk into the hallway and there's just a random butler walking by in your house. Yeah. Um, me and Kim can't make a poll and Lord is not here. So I don't know if we will be- Oh, Justin, do you know how to make a poll? For some reason, the polls don't work for me and Kim. Um, I would see The Sims 3, Sims 3, Sims 3 would be so fun, Sims 3, so you can live out my horse fantasy. I will be screaming in that stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. Um, I think Sims 3 is unanimous, you're right, yeah. Um, I like recent drama for Winnenberg, the king just realized his dad isn't his son, yeah. And the illegitimate son is making a show that he should be king when the king has been ruling for a good amount of years and just got married for peace. That's good, I like that. Um... Yeah, slash pull. Yeah, we're, we should be good. I was like, oh, yeah, that was pretty unanimous. <laughs> oh, one royal starter. Okay, well, we'll I'll still do the royal starter, too. Maybe I'll do that either on Friday or Sunday. Um, but now we have more stream days, so I can break it up a bit. So, yeah. Um, I was going to say, I, I have... I got an idea last night for some serious tea for the royal starter save, and I've never done it before in the sims so i'm really excited to see what happens and like first of all what happens in game but also what we can do with it what kind of drama we can do with it i won't tira thank you yeah streams have been kept pretty short just so i can stream more days out of the week um i love pinterest me too it started to use so many mood boards for my characters as well and i love it i need to um i i had like started some of that kim actually made some for like alice Bay and caspian uh, i wanted to do some too but um no i i have especially when we moved i have like a board for like gaming setups which are so freaking cool gaming setups bedroom design like living room design all that stuff and i've like just completely based it off of that um Welcome to my brain not working. You're fine. Uh, Brittleton, the heiress, didn't become queen. She gave up the heir to marry a certain prince. And went, oh, I love that. Oh, no. More drama. Who doesn't love drama? <laughs> I started a board with inspiration for builds. I hate trying to come up with exteriors. That's fair. I'm sure that helps a lot. If I ever build one day. Oh, we haven't gone to the basement yet. Um, That's probably what I would do as well. Basement. Huh? Does it not let me go in the basement? All right. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I, I do have to stand again. Um, are Johanna Sadira going to live here full time? No, they're going to live in the Brindleton Bay Palace. But I think when Jessica and Frederick get married, they'll probably, um... I'll probably live here for a bit. Okay. All oh, the drama, yes. Uh, okay, so, whoops. All right, so this is the stairwell leading down to the basement. Oh yeah, Quento as a teenager. 
still want to keep the storyline of the princess having to leave Flash gave up a role of princess because she sort of started <gasps> oh i bet oh my gosh i love that uh the last time most of the rainbows unanimously wanted drama we witnessed the most royal scandal of them all about dean i have people how many people voted yes they wanted drama for the dean and ava situation or for the dean affair situation and then regretted it because <laughs> i had people say they wish they didn't vote for the more drama <laughs> it was it was pretty unanimous most it was like 80 percent to 20 percent. i think 80 percent um wanted more the more dramatic option so i had maria give up her spot eric and see yes um and i regret oh and i regret nothing yes i know it was our fault but was it really it was <laughs> i didn't i did what you guys wanted <laughs> you did lexi you regretted it no regrets it was fun i voted yes for drama but also took your idea from the affair and then just like made it 10 times worse yeah i voted for the maid and i got judged that pull and i judged that pull so hard <laughs> i know as my oh oh it's on um, can I pause? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, cool. So I got a new keyboard. My other one didn't have the button on the keyboard that pauses the Sims game. So every single time I would have to, like, go out and, like, manually pause it and tap on it. I showed this on my close friend story on my Instagram. But, but look. Hold on, hold on. Just chatting. Look. Isn't it cute? This is not sponsored, by the way. Look how cute it is! <laughs> and it's wireless, so it's great! But it actually has a key on there that pauses the game, so that's good. Alright. Oh, no, no. Not stream ending. Wait, hold on. Give me a sec. Okay, there you go. Um... Has Ember had a baby? Not yet! We shall see in the next episode. Listen, the more drama, the better. I don't care who gets hurt! It was our fault and totally worth it. I am so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> when you have parents like the expect some kids to act out, yeah. Um, the keyboard fits you perfectly, thank you! Look, I wanted drama, but I didn't know it was going to cause such a dysfunctional fit. I think it would have been dis... I mean, I think it would have been dysfunctional anyway. It just caused other issues within the family. Or it has the potential to. Um, to be fair, when you have parents like that... Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I know as my sim story, so so much drama. It's not even funny, not as much, but think outlander drama. But with both parents live, and on one side, there's an overprotective parents, and it's so, so good and so fun. <laughs> oh, the keyboard, right? I swear the way Cleo drama collided with Dean's was on another level, though I'm sure Cleo wouldn't call his thing drama, but character building, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, all, even though I hadn't originally planned for Dean to be having an affair when I first started this story, it works really, really well. It, like, it, it just, I feel like, added a bit, like, a, a I was just gonna say a touch of depth, but, like, a, a, more depth, I think. Um, I live your life with no regrets, yes. Um, the cheating did not make the Sulani family dysfunctional, it just made their problems more prominent, and they couldn't hide them. Away. That's true. I kind of always felt like that was the case, the, 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 the case with Dean and Leilana anyway, that that's kind of where their marriage was going. But I probably wouldn't have talked about it or touched on it if the affair didn't happen. So, like... I don't know. I feel like there's some things with some families that I just, like, will talk to you guys about and, and tell you guys that I've thought about, but it doesn't really ever come up in the story unless it's, like... We just have, like, so much going on now and so many characters, we don't have time to touch on, like, every single person's problem. <laughs> I found the video of Johan giving Amira a hand. Besides, like, you did! You posted it to your story on Instagram. Okay, did you possibly happen to tag me? <laughs> if not, I can, I can take a screenshot. Look, um... Let's see, why are Johan Sidir sneaking off to the- That's a great question, I didn't think about that. Cleo and Dean worked out really well, like the father-son parallel- Mm-hmm. It, it, yeah, it parallels really well with, um, Caspian and, and Maleko. I think it's, I guess, good to see, um, the same situation happening with both of them, but both handled differently, because I feel like it also shows more about the characters 
Um, so yeah, all right, so this is Molly Grace's dance studio. Brain went, imagine one of them as teens in the current family do get like pregnant. I don't mean the one girl project partner and find out the baby daddy isn't her baby daddy. <laughs> um, also, I've <laughs> Never mind. Um, also, I posted the photo that is William sort of wheeling on my store. Yay! Okay, cool. I'll share it. The affair gives an excuse for Cleo to be... There's never an excuse to be a gaslighter. Especially because... Well, he doesn't know about it yet. But it's like, you know, if Caspian was in that situation, he wouldn't be. Also, Cleo was gaslighting before the affair. So... Woohoo and sauna, maybe. Poor Caspian is about to have his world rocked here. Yeah. Uh, so the wall in the dance studio without the black railings was meant to be empty in case you wanted to add post. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll keep the mirrors for now, but good to know. I can definitely do that. Caspian hasn't reacted yet, though. I need to know how he'll end it. I can guarantee you that he won't be a gaslighter. <laughs> if you, I feel like anyone who knows Caspian well enough would, would know that. Thank you, Kim. Um, but he'll try to use excuse for it, but he'll Yeah, I was gonna say, he will. He would try to use it as an excuse, but there's no excuse for it. Um, all right, let's see. This is the... <laughs> this is the spa area where I think Johan and Sadira are about to go. I have ballet CC. Oh, yeah, that'd be great, Zoe. Thank you. I meant for him to try to gaslight AM so she would talk to him and forget that he kicked her out, I swear. No, I know, you I know you're not, Tira. I know you. I know that's not what you meant. But that's a good point. That's what he used. So here's the thing. Okay. Kaleo, like... I... I... I don't think he purposefully thought that, like, was thinking that when he did reach out to Alice May, but because Alice May has always been the one that he goes to about things, which we're gonna see more about later, we'll see some depth and, like, why Kaleo is so stuck on Alice May, but, um, because of, like, her being who he always went to and, like, obviously something happening, he just, like, naturally went that that's why he went to her but it was in a way to where he wanted her to forget what he just did to her and was like yeah wait, wait. yeah does that make sense <laughs> um i tagged you in the story now thank you yay um i'll share that too i mean when it comes to storylines pretty sure no one will condone it it's just that for some people it's just for some people they think they do do you mean like the storyteller doesn't condone it and then some people think they do? I was going to say two sides of this. I thought you were going to say like no one condones it. I was like, you'd be surprised. I've had some people do it. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I know a lot of storytellers have this issue too, where we have to like just make sure we tell you guys we don't condone what the characters are doing because we will have some people who think that just because we're like telling the story means that we agree with what they're doing. So I just have to remind people sometimes that that's not the case. Um, let's see. I just what I mean. Yes. Okay. They think the storyteller thinks they agree with it because that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have seen that before. Yeah. Because it's like if if storytellers were to tell stories and it was only told by things that they agree with, which for the most part, I would hope, doesn't, isn't, like, condoning these issues, that it's like, there would be no plot. It would just be, like, happy all the time. And that's not realistic. People, everyone's gonna make mistakes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, because I like that Cleo is a character, but I def don't condone his actions. I don't know who would. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we got the victim blaming command. Um, alright, this is the kitchen, which I also love what you put on the walls. This, I feel like, just adds a bit more to it. And also the wine cellar. That's cool. Um, it's the same ballpark of people loving villains, yeah. Okay. What else is here? The sauna? Alright, and then we have the, the staff rooms and all that stuff. But, shall we make Johan and Sadira woohoo in the sauna? So I feel like that's what they're about to go do. Pasha Jack, thank you. 
The only reason why we have angst or we have turmoil in our stories is so when the person finally gets their happy ever after, it feels like they deserve it. Yeah. Also, if you have characters that don't mi make mistakes and don't do anything, there's no depth or character growth to them at all. Like, I don't know. I, I just... If there's a character who has had no issues and it's just really nice, then I just feel like they're it's kind of boring to write for them. So, you have to have them grow from somewhere. What about the wacky adventure of breaking your mom's plate and trying to hide it? That's drama. <laughs> it can be. But I feel like this way we could touch on things that like actually happen to people and uh, like... It's a bit, possibly a bit more relatable. I don't know how many people have broken a plate, but um, let me see. In the air. Let me change this. All right, let's have a muhu. I'll just go with author loves to cause pain to their characters, cause that's me. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like when people ask me why do I hate the Sulani royal family so much. I was like, they're actually one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, oh, moving in the sun is like they're christening the new palace in their own way. Exactly. Hi, welcome! Um, as a storyteller, it's super annoying when people assume I condone things just because I write about them. <laughs> a good storyteller will be able to tell a story about something problematic, but still be able to show that what's happening is bad and how they decide the characters will deal with it. Exactly. Yes, 100%. Um... I learned a new thing, so reason why you and Kim can't make a poll is because the earlier poll needs to be ended by taping. Really? I've, like, never been able to make a poll, though, even if I tried to do it, like, in the beginning of my stream. I could try that, though. Have a good night! That is true. We have paper plates. <laughs> if you could live in one of the kingdoms, which would it pick? You'd pick Brindleton Bay? Um, I was gonna say Sulani, but I actually really love Tartosa because, like... There's, you get the beach and the warm weather, but there's also, like, the architecture and everything, and it's just, oh. So maybe Tartosa is a huge spoiler. We don't, yes, yes. Um, I know that's their way to cope with their own drama. Yeah, that's very, very good point, yes. That's very true. I know a lot of people that have been doing that. Um, all right, he's relaxing. Sadira, are you going to come too? Do you guys want a woohoo? Um... Woo, don't try for a pregnancy, please. If you woohoo, will you be in the sauna? Isn't she? Hi, Anya. Welcome back. Haleo's endgame is therapy. Yes. Bubbles, you want to say hi to everyone? Hi! Oh, okay. <laughs> or not. Never mind. Um. Play the game. This is therapy. <laughs> yeah, the pull up. What with option? Oh, oh. I'm sorry, Justin. I didn't realize you were doing it for that. Um, I don't. I don't think you have to worry about it. I think it was unanimous. Um, it was just The Sims Three and the Royal Starter Save. I don't. Well, I guess maybe we should. Okay. Sure, yeah. Uh, Sim 3 and Royal Starter Save. Um, he is shy, yes. Did you hide from everyone? You're also really stinky. You need a bath. Right. You're fine, Star. We're trying to get Sadir and Johan to woohoo in the sauna. Time to re-download the Starter Save. Yes! Okay, okay. Are you- please. Can you guys woohoo? Will you? It's not showing up when I click on the sauna. Why are you in- Frederick! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of there. Please go. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, why won't you leave your parents alone? Oh, thank god. Get out of there. Uh, okay. What are you- Are you woohooing now? Change into robe. No. Woohoo! Woohoo. Oh dear. Stinky boy, yeah. Is Bubbles like in the new apartment? He seems to. He got adjusted to it pretty fast, so he doesn't like freak out when we leave anymore, luckily. Um, the dirty four-letter word, bath. Bane of puppies, yeah. 
Use the sauna to your advantage. <laughs> he, that would definitely be scarred. You probably walked in on your parents doing it. Don't scar yourself on purpose. <laughs> what do you think for the other worlds? Like, werewolf pack seems fitting for Winnenberg, but very distant. I don't think I'm gonna get the wedding pick. Where are you going? No, woohoo, in the sauna, you were right there. Go here. If, uh, if this doesn't work, fine. Woohoo in a bed. Just please be your own bed. But don't be one of your children's beds. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the werewolf pack. It's just not really my thing. But I can see it being like Winterberg fitting for there. Or like Willow Creek, maybe. Um, this is worse than when Elena and Tuck, she got walked in on, I know. <laughs> Theme bubbles always makes me miss my. Oh, he's a toy poodle and Pomeranian mix. Yes. Mm hmm. Trauma, right? Paul, thank you, Justin. Thank you so much for doing that. Um. Oh, for the the high school world though. I was kind of thinking Coverdale is the other hand. It seems like its own world. Yeah. I think it would be near Windenburg and Willow Creek, but it'll be its. own its own territory, shared by all the alliances. If it's in Frederick's bed, he has free reign in a video to sleep in his parents' bed. <laughs> I think you have to take off the decorative pillows and blankets for the bed to be functional. Oh, oh, they picked a staff member's bed. That poor staff member. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh gosh, it's tied. Um, there's a poll for what you guys would like to see next stream. But please vote because it's tied right now. <laughs> If we don't do whatever, whatever loses, we'll still do, but it'll be, like, not the next stream. It'll be in a couple streams. My guess would be there's something BB move. Oh, okay. Okay. Always a pleasure to be a mod. For Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. I'm snuggling. Oh, that's so cute. A Pomsky. Is that Pomeranian Husky mix? I'm not, like, a huge big dog person, but, like, I've... If I got a big dog, I'd want it to be a husky. They're beautiful. I've never seen a Pomsky or like a Pomeranian Husky, if that's what it is. That sounds so cool. Big John, thank you for following. Um, Like, I don't see the world having royals like they would have government. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My dog was a miniature black. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. We, a lot of Pomeranian. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Bubbles. Stop licking your paw. Come here. Eh. Okay. All right, now you can sit. Sorry, he has allergies, so he keeps licking his belly, but like if he licks it too much, it'll get infected. Um, so we have to, we don't have the donut here, so we have to wrap him in a blanket. Um, Google an image of a Pomsky, okay. God, they're so cute! <laughs> Look at these! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, they're adorable! Oh my god! They're so cute! With the fertility mod, they don't have chances of getting pregnant while woohooing without the will of wanting a baby, right? I don't think so. Puppy Bruno, yeah. Got us one of the video, yeah. They're so cute! We do need a new donut. They are. They're so fluffy. They're adorable! I feel like I'm gonna cry. They're so cute. I think Cooper Dog could be a border of Willow Creek and Winterbird, but it's like the little island between Canada and Greenland, which Denmark reigns, I think. And they just bring their native treats like Winnenberg whiskey and Willow Creek champagne, turning it into a game of flags between Louie and Amira. I could see that. Okay, so we actually have more for the Royal Starter save so far for next stream. Um, so maybe we'll play the Royal Starter save on Wednesday. And then depending on if there's anything to do Royal Family related, we'll either do the Sims 3 stream on Friday or Sunday. I will, I will let you guys know. But so far, well, there's only two more votes for the Royal Starter Save, but so far that is uh, what is currently winning. Uh, wrapping bubbles in his blanket and making sure his allergies don't act up. Yeah, I'm not a huge dog person. <laughs> I, he didn't get these things until recently. I'm just like, he's always had 
issues with like licking his paws constantly but now because he's got allergies it like his belly's super red and he's, it's just yeah we, we gotta take care of it unfortunately the vet is like kind of far away from us so it doesn't make things easy especially since we don't have a car you want to invite your cousin over are you gonna convince him um to not date eloise anymore oh gosh uh-oh Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm sick. Of oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> She's not pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so next time I know. Get one for Jessica. Bet you needs a friend. That'd be so cute. You want it, right? Um I'm tearing up right now. That's so cute, right? Look up Corgi and Pitbull mix. Huh, remind me, remind me later, Kim. I will definitely do that. I want I order to have one. Also, mini pomskis. Oh if you have module two, you get a chest feed predator. Yeah. <laughs> no baby. <laughs> I cried because it's so cute on my baby. Oh no, that's fair. I yeah, no, I totally get that. That little puppy is adorable. I love it so much. I believe if it happened, they can do it again. How how about mm, no? Let's do this. <laughs> also, did we make sure Jabari did that too? Because I always said that he had that done. And um, I don't know if we actually did it in game. No more babies. Please. No more. Pregnancy scare in front of a baby, right? Johan said you're time to both give thanks. Petition to get Vera Ray and Ponsky. <laughs> He's getting snipped. Just in case, yeah. Sadira accidentally had, oh my gosh, that would be such a huge age gap. I know it happens, but like, oh my gosh. It, is that, is like that? No more, I guess. No more. No more, no more. And if it's not done by the others, I need to make sure it is. Who are you? Go away. All right, are you close with your cousin? Not at all. Are you close with your cousin? They're not that close with their cousin. Um, yeah, you made him also take Benji to get fixed. So it was just like, no, I had to do this. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Maybe gonna pop again any minute. <laughs> Watch them accidentally have twins. Oh my gosh. You can make a Pomsky in The Sims 4. I'm definitely doing that. Um, what do you mean no more? I didn't put all the... <laughs> you know what, Victoria? To make up for it... Frederick and Jessica and Molly Grace and Graham will have, I'm not going to say a lot of kids, but they'll have kids. They'll have a decent amount of kids. How about that? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, oh, so the next episode, because like, well, I forgot to mention that Diana was even pregnant in the last episode. Actually, I mentioned it, but I think it got cut out in post-editing without me realizing. Um, so I posted a picture of her being pregnant. And then in the last episode, we also saw Dustin and Adric get pregnant. But so like technically the next episode would be like really fast for them to have the baby. But because I'm planning on doing the family tree video... I, I want them, I want those babies to, like, make it into the video. So I think I'm just gonna have them have their baby in the next episode. We shall see. A decent amount, so six. Maybe a little less than that. If you still like to use module two, there is a hidden trait. Had sterilized it. Oh, yes, that'd be great, Zoe. Thank you. Yeah, because this takes a bit of time. Although I kind of want to see the moodlets that they get afterward and I'll see if I want to do it for anyone else. <laughs> um, I would scream no whoopsie babies even though those babies make the best storylines. I just don't want to have like an overabundance of those storylines, you know? Like they happen for sure. But I feel like, 
I feel like if I'm doing a storyline or something and, like, someone has a whoopsie baby, I feel like that kind of, like, overpowers what's happening. We'll have some. Not everyone, though. <laughs> I will accept six Jessica and Frederick kids, no less. It does, it takes a while, like, he's still there. Uh, sorry, Johan, we can't have any more of you roaming around. Yeah, no more Johan offspring, I'm sure you guys understand. We only say yes for whoopsie babies if it happens to be a bear baby. I remember how many people thought Ava was gonna get pregnant from her affair with Dean. I was, which was, like, the last thing I was expecting people to say. Um... I, I I feel like just in general, I know there's something coming up where people are gonna say something too. Um, but I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that real quick so you guys will know. Although I'm sure someone will still comment about it. <laughs> Ember's whoopsie baby death took over last episode. Yeah. There was so much going on last episode, Ember's baby just like I mean, I was just yeah. Also, now we can go so much more in depth with the woohoo wellness mod too yeah like having a lot of whoopsie babies would just be like okay this is just a trend with you but having them like once in a while it would be like oh yeah no this is actually something you totally did play yeah because i feel like if they do happen all the time then that take that makes them less that that does it's it, i don't know it would just be like oh okay another one like so i don't want them to happen all the time um i hope emmer's babies turns out to be sweet and kind that would be great um really did like who's the baby daddy we shall see in the next episode we'll have it we'll see in the next episode she's having the baby yeah did megan ever like ember i doubt it <laughs> her and william didn't even really date either she, he just like hooked up with her once and took her to the debutante ball so it wasn't like ember was over hanging out ember i got pregnant so your little sibling of mine can get married yeah <laughs> Uh, shows up to the UKSD party heavily pregnant. Well, at least she knows how to make an entrance. Yeah, punch check, thank you. Me accidentally having two whoopsie babies back to you, but like, I feel like it's different when you're playing on your own and it's for like your own thing. Also, those were complete accidents. Also, is the cat in love with the dog? Is that what's happening over here? Why are their hearts coming out of the cat? Oh, you were supposed to be okay after you ate that treat. Alright, I'm gonna I'll figure that out. Um, but I just mean, like, storyline-wise for the series. If I was doing this on my own, I probably would have a ton more. <laughs> but because of the series and, like, with you guys watching, that's why I, like, I just want to try to balance things out as much as I can. Um. <laughs> I don't worry, no way. I immediately assumed you meant the Sims. <laughs> I meant, oh gosh, imagine Megan freaking out when Ember showed up at their door because it happened to her own brother. Yeah. Last in real life, I was. I was. <laughs> oh, what? It happens. I know several people who were too. The cat in, in he and the dog is checking in on him. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Hi, there. Best love story, throat of the bay, cat, dog, yeah. How are you? This is built on the gallery. This one is not, but the other one is. Victoria's gallery ID is in the stream title. Um, Johan is still getting... What is happening? Are you throwing... Oh, you're licking water. Give that treat. All right. Please get better. Aw, oh, Sadir is this big happy fam. Oh, she missed out on some of these. I didn't focus on them enough. Are you okay now? Oh, Johan's back. All right, what are the moodlets? Sad? Oh my gosh. Against my deepest wishes. You know what? Some people choose that. So is this going to be the moodlet every single time? Circumstances push King Johan towards this decision, but it does not change the fact that every fiber of his soul mourns what is now lost to never have... Wait. What? To never have a child of his very own? You have two, sir. Did you forget about them? Yes, the procedure is supposed to be reversible somewhat, but that does not help much with King Johan's crushing sadness. Well, he has what happened. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Johan. Hold on. Let me just, let me just fix that real quick. Um, uh, no more children. 
Well, I'll put you as neutral. How about that? All right. He wanted more kids. He knows his creator forced this. I did nothing. Who left the trash in the- I know, right? Who's doing this? I mean, there from somebody have a whoopsie baby when he was a teen betrothed to another royal. Oh my gosh, the tea. The new setup bit, yes. Um, yeah, we are in a whole new place, a whole new apartment. Um, I'm so lost. Hold on. Uh, probably should have changed his pregnancy wish. Yeah, tough nuts. You <laughs> if he was upset about it, I could imagine just looking at someone who said that. Like, it's too soon. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm curious what it says for, like, if they're neutral about it. Okay, good. You threw away the trash. Interesting. Okay, if anybody forced Johan to take a, to get a vasectomy with Sadira. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Definitely. Johan, we love you, but you have enough heirs. Yeah, they're good. I like the little family of two. Same thing with Winterberg. I like because I feel like we have had a lot of families with like three or more kids, which is fine. But like, I don't know. I like the smaller families too. Um, the festival of lights started. Come celebrate the stars, wish for a bright future. I wish. I still want to go to the, one of those festivals and get the taiyaki with the ice cream, like the fish shaped waffle, because I've had that in real life now, and I didn't know it was in The Sims until you guys told me. Time to mess with MC again. Just make sure no pregnancy can pass while I'm playing another household. I want to name the triplets, but a different name. <laughs> no problem, Victoria. Thank you so much for the palaces. I appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Um, speaking of, I did say this was going to be a shorter a stream because I want to film the next episode. I still have to make John's parents and... Oh, I have to do a few other things too. But I want to get that done so I can film tonight. Um, so, if you still live on the East Coast, there's a huge Asian food festival happening in August. Is it Viet Fest? Is it like in Virginia? Um, because I've been there before and I know I knew that happens in August, so I wasn't sure. Um, but yeah, I still need to do John's parents. Where's the staff? The royals are woohooing in your bed and cleaning up messes. Yeah, they need to be here. I want crazy in my royal family sims. There's a family of seven. Yes. Howard can Okay, okay, then no, I don't know that one. Oh, that's so cool though. Luckily, there's plenty of Asian food here. We have so much Japanese food. We have a lot of other Asian food too, but like Japanese food specifically. Um, am sitting here planning to have... <laughs> we know you have a whopping. <laughs> um, ask us the William question. Oh, okay. So I got this idea from Anya. Um, she did an AU with her Sims in her story. But like, and they, this was on her Instagram story, so it wasn't posted on her on her account. But um, and they were the actors of the characters that you guys see in this story. So I had thought of maybe doing that with our maybe just our main team group. But it reminded me of William because I I, I wanted to share his actors' opinions on on William. That's that's the only reason I thought of like William specifically. Um, so I wasn't, but I, I also wasn't sure if that would like, I wasn't sure if I should wait till the main part of the story's over because I wasn't sure if that was gonna like, mm, I don't know. Like if you guys would see them differently. Um, Cause I didn't feel that way about Anya, so I wasn't sure, but um, an actor are you, yeah. You do that with your D and Gre D group, yes? Sounds fun, yeah. Um, so that was just what, it wasn't anything big, but, um, that's why William, talking about William reminded me of it, because I had, like, something specific I wanted his actor to say, but, um, I wasn't sure if that was something you guys would like to see, but I, even still, William's actor not wearing glasses, <laughs> that could be a thing too, <laughs> um, I kind of like the idea of that, like, the Sulani family actually wears contacts, so, like, <laughs> Kaleo's green eyes are, like, actually contacts that the actor has to wear. <laughs> I would wait until they're in college. Okay. Um, I don't know, Pika. <laughs> um, Kaleo bashing on his character, yeah. That'd be so fun. Williams' actor's not British, yeah. <laughs> um, so... 
uh, I, even still, it probably wouldn't be for a bit anyway, because I still have to get things figured out with like the current episode. It would probably just be something fun that I was working on. But either way, I, it'll, I'll probably wait until they get a little bit older and maybe until like the main, the, until the next big thing happens. I'll wait till after that. The male one has sister and four kids group of 15. Oh my goodness. And the actress, I feel so bad for Cleo on the show. <laughs> I I have things planned with them that the actors are gonna say. I'm really excited. But yeah, okay. Um so I need to go work on the next episode. Um but let's go raid. Let's go raid. Um let's go raid Kipsy Daisy. So, if you guys are not subbed, you can copy and paste this message. And if you are subbed, you can copy and paste. Oh, I messed that up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Eh. Great. Okay, there you go. You can copy and paste this message. Um. Oh, shoot. I need to copy the message, too. There we go. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great week.